What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. Y'all know the drill. If it's your first time here, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, today we're gonna be taking a look at a classic 90s basketball shoe, y'all. Let's go ahead and get started with the box. So, we're taking a look at the Nike Air Max Total, with Total Max Up Tempo. So, standard Nike sportswear box. Gotta be honest, I'm tired of seeing this box. I can't remember if this is what it came in back in the day. I'm, on, I'm doubting it, but uh, I wish they'd do something special for these types of shoes, but you know, this is the box they gave us. On this size, you got the size tag there, Air Total Max Up Tempo. I picked this up in the US men's size nine and a half. Now, this shoe, I'm not actually sure when it's supposed to release. I, I think it was supposed to release maybe like last month. I heard some rumblings about it was supposed to come out. Well, in this particular colorway. But, cause uh, you know, a couple of my friends, we were trying to figure out, you know, when they're gonna drop, we're gonna pick them up. But I was online looking around the other day and I saw someone mention that they picked up a pair on DTLR. So I went and checked out my local DTLR and there they were sitting on the shelf. The Air Total Max Up Tempo in this kind of white and navy colorway. Now, out of all of them, this is the one I really, really wanted because I remember this shoe back in the day. This one was worn, I guess, most notably by Reggie Miller. Um, I'll try and throw a picture up here somewhere so you guys can check it out. But, you know, this shoe was a classic back in the day. Like I said, I think it dropped in 1997. And, uh, you know, just part of the up-tempo line. Uh, before, the probably the most popular up-tempo model is a the max of tempo with the no, more up tempo, which is the um, the Scotty Pippen version with air on the side. But this is another iteration of tempo series. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. On the lateral side there, obviously you got that white leather all across the shoe and you've got these ridges right here on the side. And it's in a tumbled leather there and it's a it's an okay leather, not like the best material, but it's not bad at all. It's, it's okay leather, I think. And obviously you got that metallic kind of navy color running around there. Just want to make sure that's what they're calling it. Yeah, well, midnight navy. It's a midnight navy, but it's kind of in a metallic. It's got a little shine to it. That's about it. But midnight navy um, detailing running all along the shoe there. And also the midnight navy swoosh that is uh, outlined with white stitching. All right. And you've got that really bulky white midsole there. And you can see the air unit is in navy as well that runs the length of the shoe. Classic 90s basketball shoe, man. I remember this one growing up. Never had a pair, so glad to add one to the collection. Now, taking a look at the toe box, get another little look at that um, tumbled leather. You've also got that navy swoosh outlined in white again there. All right, and moving up from there, you've got that white mesh tongue and some kind of, you know, white rope laces. They're kind of thin, but the rope laces. And at the very top, you've got a little bit more of that mesh with that metallic navy and a Nike basketball logo there. I've always really loved that logo. Like if you grew up during the 90s, you remember that was on like pretty much all of the basketball clothing back in the day. All right. Now, taking a look at the medial side of the shoe, it's pretty much the same thing, y'all. Uh, more of that white tumbled leather there on the side. You got your midnight navy swoosh outlined in white. And that navy detailing that runs down the side of the shoe as well. Classic, classic stuff, y'all. Um, so they actually did release, I think the first one they released um, was the black and the neon green colorway. For some reason, I like that one too, but I was a little hesitant to pick it up because I figured, I don't know if I'd ever wear it, but you know, I just, this one was like one I really had to have because I vividly remember this colorway. Um, okay, now moving around to the heel of the shoe, you've got, um, let's see here, you've got that nice kind of metallic, it's almost like a mirror in the back, a mirror image of like it says, uh, what's well, in like a navy color and it says air there. And moving up from there, you've got more white leather and at the top you've got a pull tab that has that Nike basketball logo there with Nike text running up it as well. Classic, y'all. All right. Now, um, let's take a look at the outsole of the shoe. All right, so this you've got a predominantly white outsole there with a navy swoosh at the top. All right, and some more navy detailing along the sides as well as like these kind of little white pods here. 
And as with the other up-tempo models, you've got this little window here. And I think it was the more up-tempo, the Scotty Pippen, the white and the red colorway they just released, where I mentioned in that review, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But um, they had these windows. On that shoe, they, didn't, they had it closed off, you couldn't see anything. But on this one, it is actually open and you can see that Nike basketball logo there. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but if you look in there, there is that Nike logo. So the logo that's on the tongue here is actually visible in that window. All right. Okay, now the insole, you've got just a navy blue. It's, uh, it's kind of, I'm not gonna take it out. It's kind of glued in, but it's a navy blue insole with the uh, swoosh symbol and air text in white. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that there. All right. Now that'll be all for the Air Total Max Up Tempo, y'all. Um, before we get to the on feet, y'all know I like to get my final thoughts on the shoe. So, is this a must pick up? I would say for every collector, absolutely yes. You know, if you claim to love shoes and you, you know, grew up during this time and whatnot, then this is a must have for the collection. Even if you only get one pair, I wouldn't grab every colorway. If I had to pick one, I'd probably, I'd go with this one. Um, it's kind of a bulky shoe, and I know these days people really don't care for that. But honestly, they feel pretty good on feet. Um, and, you know, like I said, classic colorway. Now, as far as how they feel on feet, sizing. I picked this up in my normal U.S. men's size 9.5, and, and they fit fine. Um, they are a little roomy in the toe area and whatnot, which is what I like. So I wouldn't go down. You could go true to size or half size up if you want, and you could wear either and be fine. Uh, but yeah, that is about all for the total max up tempo, y'all. Like I said, just glad to add this one to the collection. This is the first pair I've ever owned because I didn't have them growing up. So that always makes it a little better when you finally get to grab a pair. But comment down below, y'all, and let me know, were you able to grab a pair? Are you going to pick these up? Like I said, I think they're supposed to drop within the next, I don't know if it's the next few weeks or a few days or so. If you know, comment down below. I'll have to check and see if I can find the actual release date because like I said, they were supposed to drop like a month or so ago and they never did. So I was kind of shocked to see them in my local DTLR, but so I had to go ahead and grab a pair. But like I said, comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this model and are you going to pick a pair up? That'll be all for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.